Hey guys, what's up Cancer? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. It's going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with. So flip it how you need to. Also remember, it's a general reading. So take what's yours and leave the rest behind. Wow, those were nice and powerful cards. All right. So if this does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. All right, immediate future for cancer. Thank you. Coming up for cancer. Wait, you got the devil there. Could just be dealing with the Capricorn. Uh, Aries energy as well with that emperor. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini popping out. There may be some temptation. I don't know. That emperor can be kind of a... Uh, take charge. Let's see what's going on. Because next to the devil... Um, yeah, we'll see. Show me this three of pentacles for cancer. This is... Yeah, you're working hard at something. To like build, to grow. It could be around work. But it feels, or you know, hell, it could be around a car here. With the chariot, that is your energy. But it's like you're building. You're actually, um, the three of pentacles is about collaborating and teamwork. And there is something here I'm not saying it's easy because it's ten of wands. So it's taking some type of, you know, effort. But it, it's either working hard for the money or working hard for, um, you know to sustain something to make it abundant to make it stable long lasting show me the devil for cancer wow the wheel show me that seven of cups because it still feels like like somebody is pushing here to try to move forward. Uh, to, it looks like to fix things, to stabilize things, or for something long-term, committed, abundant, right? But it, it feels almost like with that devil there, self-sabotage. Like somebody is still, uh, you know, there could, could be some pain that was caused. Yeah. Hey. And for some, this may have to do around money. Because now we have the Five of Pentacles. So it's almost like, I don't know if there was an ex or a toxic situation that maybe, you know, broke your heart. And now there's some type of distance or separation from that. <sighs> around money, I would say someone's broke. And it could definitely be at a distance. It doesn't look like it's moving too much. But it feels like, you know, around money, it would be like, uh, somebody's broke. They need some money. That's not for all, though. Because this, there's a situation here, yeah, where there's just conflict around it. Um, possibly jealousy here. So, it, there's like an element of, I don't want to call it confusion, but that's what it feels like. Because the Seven of Cups is a card of illusion and kind of trying to figure things out. So it feels like there's something here that you separated from and left behind. Uh, possibly a situation where, you know, there was competition or just arguments and drama around it. But it's like you've been working hard to regain some type of control here. Show me the Emperor for the outcome. Tell me about that emperor. That's Aries energy. <laughs> the sun. Alright. It looks like somebody is communicating here. Show me the sun. Because that's the happiest card in the deck. Somebody's coming back around. Um, with the six of cups. It could be someone, you know, that was from your past, from childhood. Uh, things like that or it could just be someone that you have 
children with. The sun is there, so I feel like a lot of light is going to get shown on something with the fool. Yeah, see, it's, it's, show me the fool. You're happy as fuck, optimistic. This, well, this emperor is going towards your wish fulfillment. Yeah, you're coming out really happy here. So, you know, maybe there is a toxic, you know, it, it, this doesn't even have to be like an ex. This could be anything that's tempting. This can be fucking cigarettes and alcohol. This could be anything that like kind of gets a hold on us. But it looks like somebody separated themselves from that. The drama and kind of left that out in the cold. And so now this emperor, it looks like it's taking charge. And going towards, yeah, I mean, this is completely different. These sides make sense. This right here, it feels like there's just something kind of toxic that you're letting go of. And I don't think that was easy. But now, or it could just be around money. Like if, if there was poverty or something like that, stress around that situation. Um, now you're working, you've been busting ass and you're like regaining, you're getting control here. Not saying that you ever lost it, but um, it could have been, you know, this person. Because now there's this emperor. Who makes you happy as hell like optimistic just happy 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 and this person is here they're coming back around they're coming forward to express their love and you do see this as your wish fulfillment trust 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 your intuition because that's what the high priestess is we do have the lovers here which is gemini energy so i'm not even saying that there was a person that came in between this but there could have been something that wasn't like the healthiest so with the lovers there, um, that's why, for, not for all, but there's always a third energy that can come in between that. And like I said, it doesn't have to be a person. So just, it's a happy ass outcome. I'm going to tell you that. Yeah, the Empress. You have the Emperor and the Empress over here, your divine counterpart. This person is very much attracted to you. And has feelings for you with the Knight of Cups. This is showing up with a love offer. It's an overwhelming amount of happiness right here coming for you. You do have the power to manifest, and it's like you're finding that that chill space, like that breeze where you can, you know, kind of just let go. Because there is mutual love on both sides. This is gonna make you happy as hell. Just stay out of your head. Because you do have the power to manifest. But someone may still be a little guarded and that could just be because of heartbreak and shit from the past. But you are moving forward here. It's a beautiful outcome. Alright Cancer, I hope this helped. I hope it resonated. If so, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. You guys take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.